Hey guys, um, King Clash here, coming at you with a whole new video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you a strategy that has really been working for me for um the past couple of weeks. So uh, I'm gonna show you my battle log, and as you can see, there's been lots of victories and only a few defeats. And as you scroll all the way back, you see that this deck has been doing very well. So, let's go into some quick replays of this deck. So, we're going to start with me against hype uh against a Chinese person or at least a person with a Japanese name that I can't read because it, of course it's in Japanese or Chinese. So, as you see here, we're going into it and I'm acting kind of cocky cuz I feel good about this deck. So, Let's start. It only costs um four elixir, but that's if you're using the giant skeleton instead of the Pekka. I just got the Pekka today, as you can see in my last video. I explained that. So and so um, but and now I'm using the Pekka instead of the giant skeleton. So I start with the witch and the skeleton army to take down that giant skeleton as he places down the the baby dragon i go with the hog rider and if you don't have the hog rider you can always use the goblin the goblin hut will be good if you're using the hog n n yes the, if you don't have the hog rider so that's okay he places down a knight and he, i lower the knight it's level six and it's almost down now i have the giant skeleton and i have the um which in my starting deck so i'm gonna place down the giant skeleton this level two as you can see and the witch and this is a really strong combo because the witch can target air and it can stop from anyone using a whore like the skeleton army since it deals area damage so now it is going on the baby dragon he places down minions that shouldn't be too bad because i have another air troop and i place down with the the hog rider now and this is a pretty good whore for me as you can see my hog rider is level four it's dealing damage now and there goes tower number one as i take it for um for that tower so I, there's only one minute and 15 seconds left now he's he needs to take a tower he knows that he only touched my left tower and that was just with the goblin barrel so as you can see i'm being pretty solid here with this win now what's good with this deck is it's meant to attack from both sides so this deck it, you're supposed to take one tower and then go to the other. You can target for the king tower, but it's the smartest to go for both towers and then the king tower. So that's the smartest. I placed down a hog rider and now I have a really strong horde. As you can hear, see here, I got two, um, two of the musketeers down, which is pretty good since I don't have the three musketeer card yet. And as you see, I already lowered it all the way down to 416 health. He's going to place down the Goblin Barrel, but I just placed down the arrows on that, and that's really good. If you didn't know, Goblin Hut, make sure you have arrows, because it can take him out really easily. I have that Hog Rider going down, and with a couple of slaves, it'll bring it down, but it didn't yet, with only 204 left. He has a pretty strong horde here, but I'll just place down a... About three, but he placed it down a rocket, and he knows he only has three seconds left, and he needs to take a tower, but he doesn't manage to, and that's going to be the game for me as I take that tower. So, first, I'll let you look at what the deck looks like. So, this is what the deck looks like. As you can see for lower levels, I'll switch it out right here so this is the deck as you see you got the giant skeleton should be around level two and it has good health and the main reason that it's good is it has really good death damage and that can win the game for you just the death damage there then i have the witch here and it's good because it summons skeletons as you can see and it it also does area damage and area damage is 41 then i can use the skeleton army against any troops uh, for any um, troops that only target one, for example, they place down a P.E.K.K.A. or a a good combo, like a giant and a, oh, what would I say, a giant and a, hmm, a prince. You can just place down the skeleton army and it'll take it down really easily. 
And next we have the hog rider. Remember, if you don't have the hog rider, you can use the goblin hunt, and that will work. So he does really good damage. Mine's level four, and he has good health points too. So that's probably one of the best in the best cards in the game. We have then the musketeers. It's really good. It's air. It's ground. It has good health. Does good damage. It's really um versatile. Really versatile card. Then we got our Valkyrie for hordes. If they use the skeleton army or any other hordes we then have the arrows here which i'm going to wait to upgrade i'm saving up to get to four thousand gold again and you see here that it, it's good against if you don't have valkyrie in your deck and you need to arrow the goblin bear or something like that then we got a spear golems these are the most versatile maybe probably the most versatile troops in the game they target air they target ground it's good to place them right behind the tower on defense so yeah, and what else here is, and people for you guys, you good guys who have the P.E.K.K.A., place it right instead of the giant skeleton, and it will be really good, strong combo. Now, the combos I recommend doing is doing the P.E.K.K.A. and the Witch, the P.E.K.K.A. Witch and Musketeer, or remember, if you don't have the P.E.K.K.A., use the giant skelly, then the P.E.K.K.A., the Valkyrie, the P.E.K.K.A., the Witch, and Hog Rider. If you don't have the Hog Rider, you can do the Goblin Hut. Any of those combos are really strong, and I really recommend using them, guys. So, as, yeah, so that's really good right there. And I'll go into one training match just to show you how good this is. So, I start off with the P.E.K.K.A. I start off with the... Hog Rider and the Valkyrie. So that will be good for me. And I'm going to start down with the P.E.K.K.A. right on the right lane. I like starting down. He zaps it first. And as you can see, he plays it down the wizard. I'll place down the Valkyrie just to distract that wizard. And I don't have any other strong troops yet. So I'm going to place down the Hog Rider there. But as you can see, this is not good because my P.E.K.K.A. is getting very swarmed by hordes of troops. I'm going to place down... Uh, the um that to help him out but he just zaps the spear goblins as you can see i already lowered it to 750 health left which is pretty good he places down the wizard i'm just gonna save up on elixir because i know that's not the strongest card in the game although it is my profile picture but that's okay so now i'm at 10 elixir now i'm gonna place down the witch and then save up so i can place down the pekka or giant skelly for you guys so place down the P.E.K.K.A. now right there to distract the troops. And I'm going to ready with my arrows or anything if they place down, if the trainer places down something like, I don't know, Skeleton Army. It's always good to have a card ready in your hand. But I'm see he's just going to go with arrows. So I'm going to place down my Musketeer. And that's going to take the damage. As you can see, my P.E.K.K.A. is doing 400 damage for each hit. And now you see how I'm going for the left of lane. So now I finished on the right uh, right lane, but now you might be thinking, Adam, why aren't you just go for the King Tower? Well, it, it's stronger because um, you want them to think that, but you're actually going for the other lane. I already lowered it all the way down to 970 health, and and so that's pretty good for me. I'm going to place, there's only 20 battery left, I'm going to place down the Witch, and then once I place down the Witch, I'm going to place down the P.E.K.K.A. right here, the P.E.K.K.A., as you can see, pretty easily, and this combo might just win the game for me here, as you can see, oh, and the enemy takes one tower, but I'm not going to really be concerned, as you see, I just took that tower, and I'm, now I'm going to go on a really big push, hope he's doesn't using his zaps or anything, as once my P.E.K.K.A. reaches there, that's going to be the game for me, so, really guys, if you, um, Rerun, check out the deck again, and I hope you liked it. It's a really strong deck. Try it out, do a couple of training matches, battle with friends, and um, subscribe and like if you liked the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.